Orthographic views in Blender. Okay, well, first off, you're going to need a few tools. One, you're going to need to know about this website. Theblueprints.com, so please go to that. Please make an account. The account is free. Notice I am signed in. And go to the Blueprints database. We're going to be using science fiction. And we're going to be using the Star Wars Rebel X-Wing. I'm using this Model 1. It's very familiar uh, with me for as far as instructional purposes. Two, uh, it has the top, front, side, and right side view. Okay? Rear view, sorry. So it has all the views. It's very high res. And it teaches new students a lot about modeling. So... It has a little bit of problems everywhere. I love it. Now, you can download this image. If you're signed up in a free account, you can get the full res one. So that's what you need. And I'm just saving this to my desktop. It would be nice if you saved it within a folder called Blender X-Wing. Then you're going to have to get a program. I'm going to keep this absolutely free for everybody. So that means I'm going to be using GIMP. Let's say, you know, students can't afford Photoshop. You know, I don't want to leave those people out. So GIMP. GIMP is this program right here. Once you get it installed, so please install it. If you have Photoshop, you can use Photoshop. This is only for people that do not have Photoshop. Now, GIMP's a little verjackety uh, sometimes, uh, meaning that, I don't know, like there's a few things missing, it's, but it's only because I'm so used to Photoshop that I notice those things missing. So that's why. Let's say I open the image, X-Wing. What I'm going to do is carve this up into a new document that is square. Okay, so in my tools, notice I have a rectangle select tool. Okay, I'm just going to marquee select that area. Copy it. File new. I'm going to make the new document 1024 by 1024 pixels. And then I'm going to, wait, 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 hold on. Uh, first off, I'm going to go over to layers and make a new layer. And hit OK. Very important that you make a new layer. Very important that you highlight the new layer and paste it in. Good. Let's do that again. This time, I'm going to juggle in between the two documents, go back to the other one, and get the side view. Edit, copy it make a new layer, go to the new layer, and edit paste it. One last time. Copy it. New layer. Paste it. Now notice something that in most cases, see the layers, it looks like I didn't get it pasted in. All right, now if I make a new layer, it automatically appears. Again, kind of the verjackety thing that I've been talking about. Let's go to layer. Transform. No, nope, scale layer. That's what it is. So, scale layer it has the uniform scale on it. So, I'm going to take the width of this and I'm going to take the width and 1024. Whatever number comes along with the other one should. And let's hit scale. I'm going to do that for each one of these. Good.
Now, being that I scaled those all uniformly, they should all line up. So I could take and turn this eye on and drop the opacity down. And you can see that if I use the move tool, it is very close to the fact that this lines up with the nose. Very close. It's not going to be perfect, but that's okay. Do not scale it. Okay, let's turn the opacity back up. Let's turn the front eye on and let's save as. Now this document or this thing does not fit on my window. Here it is. Notice I do not have a save button down here. Need I mention the Verjacti thing, right? So here's front. I'm going to save this in my directory on my desktop, Blender X-Wing. I'm going to save this as front JPEG. Okay, how do you select JPEGs? Well, select file by extension. You can choose JPEG below. Just like that. Okay, so if you don't see anything happen, it's because I have to drag it over to my other window just to reach the save button. Okay, I'm going to hit export here. And I'm going to make sure it's 100% save. All right, well, I do that for each one. This one, I'm going to call it, you guessed it, side. Is it going to be a JPEG? Yes. Top. All right, now that we have our three orthographics all chopped up, we are now importing them into Blender in the next video. So enjoy. See you there.